Hey y'all, thank you guys so much for clicking on my channel. My name is Avril and this is Home with a Naturalista. So what you're looking at is actually one of my first DIY projects that we went ahead and put in our bedroom. I've been so inspired by restoration hardware and Lord knows I cannot afford it. So why not try to do the same look on budget? If you wanna see how I went ahead and got this, stay tuned. Alright y'all, let's get to it. So I went ahead and purchased eight of these picture frames, Ripper. I will go ahead and leave the measurements down below. I also went ahead and got a pack of black construction paper, which you can literally get from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target. Um, I went ahead and got some white acrylic paint that I also got from the Dollar Tree, as well as these paint brushes. Very, very simple. I went ahead and used the scissors to kind of help to outline how far I can make the actual painting because I want it to be seen in the actual frame. So what I did was I took the white cutout, as you can see, using the scissors to basically line the construction paper so I know that the image that I'm going to paint has to stay within that four, those four walls, basically. So I went ahead and went on my phone and kind of Googled on Restoration Hardware website itself to kind of get an idea of different looks and portraits that I like and just try to go ahead and mimic it the best that I can. I am nowhere close to an artist, y'all. So it's really up to you. You can either just freestyle or if you want it to be somewhat close to what the pit to the pictures that Restoration Hardware actually sells, you can do that as well like I did. But let me tell you, they do not look anything like what they sell. However, I just it's just another thing that I'm actually proud of. So yeah, so I went ahead and got some tape just to help um, the construction paper to stay still while I'm, you know what I'm saying, getting my artiste on. So I don't know if you can see, but I picked up my phone just trying to look at little pictures, as I said before, um, and then I'm gonna get painting. So right here, I'm actually just going ahead and using another sheet of uh, construction paper to put my actual paint that I'll be dabbing in to go ahead and start my design. Um, just the FYI, the paint dries very fast, so I had to kind of always reapply um, just to be able to make a painting but there I go child I was just doing and at one point I was just freestyling um, I definitely like I said I purchased eight picture frames from Ikea um, they were much cheaper and I believe they were all like $7.99 each if I um, if I'm correct I do not remember this size but it's fairly up to you it depends on how um, how much space you have over your headboard and all that good stuff so I will definitely leave the information down below as to the exact uh, frame size that I purchased. So as you can see, I'm like looking at my phone and trying to mimic. Art was not my favorite subject, y'all, at, like, at all. I have no idea what that is. Um, and I believe I did not put that on the wall. I made more than eight just to have an option for when it was time. But yeah, that kind of looked like a centipede like two centipedes stuck together i don't know but um yeah <laughs> i hope you are finding this hilarious like i am but it I, I promise you it's gonna come out good all right y'all so i just wanted to quickly input just some images of so you can get the idea of what restoration hardware does sell and for the price okay so my work look good honey okay all right Alright y'all, so basically this DIY is very repetitive. You kind of just keep doing the same thing. It's definitely your decision regarding the type of picture you're painting or the look that you're going for for the actual um, wall art. So it's kind of the same thing over and over again. As you can see, I'm going ahead and tracing just to have, make sure I'm not painting outside of the lines so you can see the whole image when it's on the wall. Um, so yeah, this is definitely 
really a much cheaper and smarter way. I actually seen this video idea from one of my YouTube colleagues. I will go ahead and link her channel down below. Um, I believe her name was Tamika, my fellow Jamaican. Um, and she gave this great idea, y'all. And once I seen it, because I was so, uh, you know, into watching all the restoration hardware videos. And I was like, oh my God, I wish I could afford it. Oh my gosh, it's so dope. I love the modern look and all that good stuff. So I don't know what I'm making right there, girl. It looks like it was a rake. Now it's turning into something else, I have no idea. But I absolutely love and I'm so happy I went ahead with this. Um, the bedroom looks much, much better. We've lived in this house for three years and we had nothing over the headboard. And I wasn't in a rush because I wanted something that's just gonna make the room be like, bam, thank you ma'am. And that's literally what this wall art did. So it's definitely a good decision. My boyfriend loved it. He wasn't too sure about it until I put everything in the picture frames. Listen, the picture frame idea is just in itself a good idea. You actually do not even have to make a painting. You can just put black construction paper inside. It's really up to you and your preference. Um, so I'm on Pinterest going ahead and trying to put, get my artiste on as you can see and but as I said, okay, just wait. Wait and see when it's on the wall, it looks really, really good. All right, y'all, so here I am doing my last painting. I have no idea what it is. I think I was trying to do an Audi sign, but I think I'm missing an extra uh, circle. <laughs> but um, yeah, that one was very simple, but I really actually like it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my finished product. Some look like hockey sticks. Some look like upside down tables. Some 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 is a bowl on top of books i mean don't judge me okay it's just the you know i took the initiative to try to get a look that i can't afford and i think i did a good very good job so right now it's actually sitting there drying um once they dried i went ahead and put them in each frame this is where i'm i think i'm going to be showing you just the way i um went ahead and put it in the frame i believe i taped it just to kind of help the construction paper not to slip and just to stay in place um and yeah i mean it looked very well at the end this is a very smart idea another way just to save some money but still get a dope look for your bedroom i mean it doesn't have to be just for your bedroom i've seen people do the wall art in their living room in their hallway in their dining room even so it's really your preference the idea of it is just to basically save money um, and still have a dope look just like restoration hardware themselves I think it's very modern and the black and white look it's something I am so in love with right now so just keep in mind that once I post this video so if you're seeing this video right now please come back again to see the second part of this video which is me redoing our master bedroom and finishing it up so it can definitely have a very very nice modern look with the wall art included so stay tuned for that but i really really appreciate you guys taking the time out for clicking on this channel please do not forget to like this video before leaving do not forget to click that subscribe button before leaving as well as the notification bell that whenever a new video is uploaded you will be one of the first to know y'all do not forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok okay home with a naturalista no space home with a naturalista no space thank you guys so much and i really appreciate you guys have a good rest of your evening and i will see you in the next one
Oh,